I know. I gotta clean this up in here. I'll get back with you. As soon as we get it cleaned up a little bit. This looks much better. I have spent all morning cleaning this room up. Buster did come in here and vacuum up. But uh, we're going to make a little video today. We're going to talk about some of this stuff right here. We'll get back with you. We got the room cleaned up. <laughs> it's really hard to, uh, well, it's not hard to make a video in here with it dirty, but uh, I'm a big dirt clod. Brenda will tell you that. But uh, we want to make this little video real quick. <clears throat> this is this was gave to me. I'm going to show you this tender pouch from Robert of Bluegrass Bushcraft. Man, if you haven't watched uh, Bluegrass Bushcraft, you need to check him out. And uh, also, gave me the barrel rod. This is pretty cool. It's one of the coolest ones I've ever seen. It's all about the fire. And uh, we went down to the, uh, the gathering they had there at Turkey Foot. Campground, I believe it was. Well, it was uh, Daniel Boone National Forest. And uh, we just had an awesome time. Uh, real quick, uh, <clears throat> we learned how to make the char cloth. We, uh, we got the, uh, we were gave some plant. Got the nice bag of tinder. And, uh, most valuable here in Ohio. We got some uh, birch bark. Hi highly flammable birch bark too, by the way. Pretty good. But uh, uh, real quick, we got with Robert again at Bluegrass Bushcraft. And uh, we actually made a bow drill fire. It was the coolest thing I've ever done. And uh, Robert and Ray. Um, they're, they're just two wonderful people and uh, two good teachers. Ray taught, uh, taught a class on the uh, fire and steel, how to make the uh, charcoal. It was an excellent class. Um, real quick, we got some, uh, again, we got the, uh, look at that, that's just something in it. But uh, I'm not going to make it. <coughs> excuse me, a fire for you today, but um, we just wanted to point out just um, we had an awesome time. If uh, uh, they'll have the uh, gathering again, got another meetup in the spring, I'm not sure yet where it's going to be at. Uh, if you check with Robert's page there, I believe Kentucky Woodsman also that he, uh, he'll keep you informed of where that's going to be. We met a, an awful lot of people, <clears throat> very nice people, all of them. It was just uh, an awesome time with awesome people. More knowledge walking around than I, uh, I'm accustomed to. And um, uh, we've seen things that we have never seen before. I'll give you an example. Uh, we've seen Robert make cornbread in a Dutch oven. <laughs> that was uh, <clears throat> that was that was something. I mean, it, it was delicious. Um, 
We've seen more Dutch oven meals cooked than I've ever seen in my life. An awesome meal, awesome time. I highly recommend that uh, it doesn't matter if you're a prepper, homesteader, or bushcrafter, that does not matter. It's the knowledge that we were after, and uh, we gained, man, I'm telling you, we gained some key knowledge on fire making, for sure. And once again, let me, just cannot quit playing with this here. <laughs> this is just something else. And uh, we've already made several fires. We don't want to burn all the charcoal up. Of course, we know how to make more. And uh, it's a lot easier than you think. But to get back to the people, I don't know all the names. I just want to say thanks to everyone that was down here for a most wonderful time. The day we spent the day, we didn't get to uh, camp with them. But uh, next time, for sure, we hope to take the teardrop and uh, meet up again with them. But... If they're ever having one in your area or you, you can uh, come to the uh, meetup, it's, it's just a fantastic, awesome time. You will enjoy yourself and you will learn a great deal. And again, I just want to, uh, I, I just want to thank everyone. I, I, I just, Brendan and I have talked about it many times since we got back home. Uh, we've seen Saline Scott there. Uh, Kentucky Woodsman, uh, Coyote, I think 238. Um, I want to say hi to Patrick. I don't know that last name, but I enjoy talking to him. I, I really enjoy talking to uh, a, a lot of the people. I guess there were so many, I forgot the names. The ladies there, can't remember their names, but uh, again, we just had an awesome time and uh, we can't wait to do it again. And again, it, it doesn't matter what you're into, you can always, uh, the knowledge is, is, is most valuable. And again, we really appreciate it. We appreciate the things we saw, the camaraderie, the, the, we just, uh, the enjoyment of the whole entire thing. So uh, let me say good day to you. <clears throat> As always, thanks for watching. God bless to you. We hope you subscribe to the channel and follow us along. You never know what we're going to be doing, what we're going to get into. Oh, real quick, before I forget, and I've been wanting to do it for a while, and um, I always forget this guy. One of the nicest guys on YouTube, <coughs> excuse me again, uh, it would be Dan Home in the Sticks. You got to check Dan out, Home in the Sticks. Uh, uh, his last video, he had me rolling in the floor. He was eating a uh, 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 ghost pepper. <laughs> man, I know it was kicking his uh, butt, man. But uh, that was a pretty cool video, Dan. But uh, Dan, Home in the Sticks. We're going to give him a shout out. I always forget forget him. But uh got a wonderful, wonderful channel, and um, you, I mean, you can really learn some things, because he's always doing something, <laughs> he is always doing something, and uh, we'd like for you to go check his channel out, but uh, I hope you do subscribe to the channel, man, get that thumbs up for me, leave us a comment, and uh, hit that bell, wherever it's at there, hit that bell, that way you'll get our next video when we bring it out, you have a good day. And thanks for watching.